Hi everyone, today I'll be going through one of the Pico Gym Practice Challenges under the Binary Exploitation category. And I'll be starting off with the one that is worth 20 points called Stonks. Uh, so here the description says that I decided to try something no one else has before. I made a bot to automatically trade Stonks for me using AI and machine learning. I wouldn't believe you if you told me it's unsecure. Okay, so uh, so the hints is it says that okay maybe I'd believe you if you find my API key, so uh, I guess it's not really a hint but well let's go ahead and download this file. Okay, so here's the file vuln.c. So I did have a quick look into this file previously, but I couldn't find any major vulnerabilities in most of the functions, except for the buy stonks function over here. So uh, as you can see in line 89, there's a declaration for a user buff. However, um, in line 93, it just uses the printf function to directly print user buff without putting any sort of format string in this place. Usually there's supposed to be like a um, percent %s or something, but there's none. So this vulnerability would actually allow attackers to leak the, um, to steal the contents of the memory. And I'm guessing that's how we'll have to get the flag for this question. Okay, now we're going to go back to Pico Gym and let's call, go ahead and copy this and open up the web shell. So I'm going to see how the program operates normally. So I'm going to go to buy some stonks. So it asks me for my API token and I'm just going to put one, two, three, four. And it also returns me with my inputted API token, one, two, three, four. And it also shows me the current time and the stocks. Okay. And it just exits normally like that. And if I go to view my portfolio, it just says I don't have any stocks and it just exits normally. Uh, now I'm going to try to demonstrate the format string vulnerability. Okay, now I'm going to go to buy some stonks and I'm going to put percent %p. Okay, so as you can see here, a hexadecimal value was given and it's not supposed to do that because it's supposed to reply me with the my inputted API token. So as you can see, the format string vulnerability is taking place here. So we're going to use that to try to, to uh, steal more memory contents to get the flag. Okay, so I'm going to put more instances of percent %p and it shows me three. Uh, so it shows me three different contents of the memory here. So we're just going to keep doing that. All right. So we're going to copy all of this. Okay. Now we'll be using a online tool called cyber chef. And I'll provide the links down in the description. So we're going to input the hexadecimal and we're going to use from hex. Okay. So here it doesn't give us any meaningful information. So I'm just going to try to cut down the data. Okay. So I removed the first few portions and it's, giving me something that looks like a flag. Okay, so, so I'm just going to cut down a few more. Okay, so it does give us the flag, except it's uh, jumbled up. So I'm guessing this is an issue to do with the endianness. Okay, so, okay, let's try to just select the um, relevant parts. So I'm just going to remove from the end as well. Okay, so.
Okay. Just a bit more. Okay, so I think that should do. Okay, so go to Cyber Chef and uh, look for the swap Indianness. And we're gonna put that in. Uh, we're gonna put that before translating from hex. Okay, so after swapping the Indianness and translating it from hex, we do get the flag here. Okay, let's see if this is the correct flag. Okay, so we've completed the challenge.